A scary surprise for a Spartanburg woman when she found a coyote inside her kitchen. It is something that experts say is not typical for the animal. 7 News reporter Scotty Kay has the story you'll see only on 7. If you walk down the street here in Converse Heights, chances are you'll see some dogs. But a coyote, that's another story. One of my dogs came through here and he started barking and just looking all over like there was a mouse or something. And I looked all over and didn't see anything. Sandy Ferguson is a dog lover. You deserve a gold medal. She you? has two of her own and decorates her home with dog themed art. But the kind of dog she got a surprise visit from last weekend was not the kind she's used to seeing inside her home. I went around the corner and I looked over here and this guy was there. That's because it was a coyote. When I first saw him, I thought, it's a coyote. And I thought, no, it has to be a dog. But he didn't move, he didn't bark, he, he didn't growl, whimper. Ferguson says that's when she called 911. She says the coyote stayed in the corner until police arrived. He didn't move. I think he was so afraid. He stayed just like a statue, like an hour and 10 minutes. When police got there, two young officers came over and they, they were so cute. This one said, well, you know, we've gotten rattlesnakes and other things, but never a coyote. He said, we have to think about this, how I get this coyote out of here. She said they used dog toys and were able to get the coyote back out the same doggy door he came in. Now we close the doggy door at night and uh, I have to watch and turn all the lights on because we have one little dog. I don't think he'd come back again. But <laughs> Before this incident, Ferguson said she'd heard coyotes but had never seen one. We spoke with a wildlife expert who said the fact it came inside her home is not normal behavior. The people with doggy doors, keeping the doggy doors closed. Because you never expect a wild animal to come in there. I never expected a coyote to be in my yard. Never in my wildest dreams I think he'd come in the house. Wildlife experts told me this is the first incident like this they've ever heard of in the upstate. Ferguson told me she's just glad no one was hurt. In Spartanburg, Scotty K, 7 News.